the inside track powered by Renault Sport F1. Hi, my name is David Mutt and I'm an engineer at Renault Sport F1, engine partner of Team Lotus. India is a new circuit for the 2011 season. It is an unknown for everyone, so there's a lot of work done back at the factory on the dynos and on the computer software to see how the engine behaves at the circuit. I'm very excited about the first Indian Grand Prix this year at the Buddha International Circuit. Uh, again, I've had the, the opportunity to drive around here for the first time uh, out of really anybody on the grid. And uh, it's a great little layout, so I'm, I feel very proud that we've uh, created a circuit that I think the drivers will enjoy, the fans will enjoy. And uh, let's go take a look at it now. So here we are going down the uh, start from this phase of the enormous grandstand on the left hand side. It really is huge, you've got to go there and see it. Uh, into turn one, it's going to be third gear I reckon um, as you charge down the straight. Going uphill now towards turn two of the easy car, but going uphill towards turn three. The circuit is actually 21 meters in width, which was a, a special recommendation from the drivers and, and Charlie Whiting to help overtaking. Down the back straight, 1.2 kilometers, sort of undulating up and down. But uh, this year with the DRS regulations, it's going to be some mega racing, I think. Here are some facts about the RS27 engine performance on this track. India appears to be a typical new F1 circuit with long straights and very tight hairpins at the end. So engine uh, braking stability and drivability out of the corners is critical. Towards the end you're going uphill again, 21 meters in width for turn four. And uh, you got on lap one you can have probably six wide going into here, so you should really uh, try and get a ticket for <laughs> sitting in that grandstand, I think. Plunging downhill now towards turn five, a left-hander, third gear, which leads into quite an interesting flowing section. You got left, right, left, right chicanes uh, before you start to climb uphill to the double apex turns 10 and 11 parabolica. Going uphill now into the parabolica in fact, and the front end is just starting to bite. Such an awesome corner. You're going to have a, a huge grandstand on the left. I think we're going to have a lot of people in there and uh, they're really going to see an F1 car in full anger. Climbing uphill again through the turns 13, 14 chicane and a blind right-hander for turn 15. This is going to be a real challenge because it's blind on the way in and it's off camber as well as you come out of it. Dropping downhill again, one of these 21 meter width corners at the last turn, turn 16, as you come up across the start finish line to complete a lap here at the Bud International Circuit. So there you have it, a lap of the Buddha International Circuit. Hopefully we're going to see a lot of you there on the 30th of October for the first Indian Grand Prix.